Well, Carrie Fisher, your uh, one-woman show, Broadway production, Wishful Drinking, that aired on HBO, is now an Emmy nominee. What did you think about that? I just mainly my daughter said that she was just, just stunned that I was in the same category as Lady Gaga. So she was just so impressed. So if that's all it accomplished, then uh, it's enough. That's that's your first trophy on that already, correct? That's right. Already won. <laughs> well, you've got some very tough competition in that category. You've got uh, Lady Gaga, you've got Bette Midler, Pee Wee Herman, and the, um, the the show that's hard to beat every year, which is Kennedy Center Honors. Hey, I told you, I already won. And I hear <laughs> Lady Gaga and Bette are in a fight. So let them duke it out. I'm fine where I am. Will you be attending the ceremony? Yeah. What um, you had gotten an Emmy nomination three years ago for um, Thirty Rock. What uh, tell us about working on that particular show and your episode? I think among the fans of Thirty Rock is one of their all-time favorites, uh, Rosemary's Baby. Wait, I got nominated for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I did. I thought the show did. I believe you were up for guest actress on that, correct? I don't know. I don't think so. Be nice, I guess. Yeah, that'd be nice. I, I don't. So I didn't think so, though. What uh, What was that experience like working with Tina Fey and the crew on Thirty Rock? It was a lot of fun, and they did let me reduce the amount of pill bottles on the set of her bedroom because I told them it wouldn't be believable. So I was like a technical advisor, also. Did um, did the script go through any changes since you're a writer yourself, or did you pretty much do it as it was written? Pretty much as it was written. Gina Fey is a fantastic writer. And her staff on that show are great, too. Well, it's a very, very funny episode. Now, when you took the show Wishful Drinking to Broadway, were there um, – what, what were you most nervous about um, as, as you made that, that, that leap onto Broadway? Um, I, uh, that I was too fat to really be in public anywhere, that, uh, I don't know that I would forget my, my lines, which would really be stupid, because uh, I wrote them when I lived them, more to the point. Um, and that John Simon would come again and say that I was bovine and not even appealing, having inherited both quali the qualities of the bad qualities of both my parents. But I really, I actually kind of, I don't really enjoy, but I, when I get bad reviews now, I just put them in the show. Just, just add them to the, the content of the show itself. Yeah. When you were writing, well, let me ask you this. Um, has it been, was it more fun, more, um, more interesting to you writing this, uh, getting it ready to go to uh, Broadway, or was uh, or the actual performance of it? What what was more interesting for you? Uh, the performance is fun because you have to be kind of fearless to do it. Uh, like you, you talk about your family, you talk about uh, friends, you talk about your whole life. I mean, what what's been the reactions from people you know? Well, I usually go to them and say, "Do you have a problem with any of this?" And I'll take it out. I think, you know, it wasn't great, the, you know, the turning of Brian Gay, but we're talking about, you know, people that were very, very young when it all happened. So I think over time it just kind of, you know, looks more like youthful hijinks than anything, you know, sinister. <laughs> Now, I wanted to ask you this. We're an awards website, so I know you've written, um, been one of the writers on the Academy Awards a couple or three times. What was that experience like? It was great because I did it when they were still giving you the basket with all the, you know, the, the gift basket that they give all the nominees. But now they don't do that anymore, so not worth doing. I, it was all right. They, yeah, they, they uh, used me as sort of a diplomat to handle the more difficult celebrities. So okay. I was like a translator from the icon to the writer. <laughs> Any particular memories from doing those shows? Yeah, I was with uh, uh, Courtney Love when, um, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, 
you know, send, give me the money one. And we were in a, uh, we were in Jerry Maguire. We were, <clears throat> we were in uh, her trailer and we were jumping up and down screaming. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Cuba Gooding Jr., that was a great speech. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Now, in terms of writing, another one I wanted to ask you about, another project from the past was Postcards from the Edge. Um, I thought that was a great movie. Did you like the way that they uh, interpreted your work and put it on screen? Of course. Mike Nichols is a genius, and Meryl and Shirley are amazing, and so what could what could go wrong? What um, was there a particular memory from writing that uh, from writing that book, and then also um, uh, the movie that that you could share with us? Well, it, you know that I had to sort of tell Meryl what it like was like to be stoned. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to be her. You know, um, whatever you call that. Um, again, it's an interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> From the stone to the sober depiction of stone. You were a technical advisor on that particular uh, part of the role. Yeah, I'm a technical advisor a lot. <laughs> Another movie I wanted to ask you about was uh, When Harry Met Sally. What, uh, you worked with, uh, I guess, um, uh, of course, Billy Crystal and Rob Reiner directed that. What, what, um, what was that particular experience like for you on When Harry Met Sally? That was a lot of fun. Uh, it was sort of like the boys against the girls at one point, so Meg and I kind of bonded during the um, the wedding sequence. And uh, uh, it, 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 doing the four-way speech was a, in, insane to do because they did like 50-some takes of all of us doing it in real time. And at the end of it, Bruno Kirby said, I think I want one more. And I said, you will be doing that one more by yourself. <laughs> if the director doesn't want it, then uh, that, that's plenty for you. Yeah. Even if the director did, it was plenty. <laughs> now, you're on the road now. Uh, I believe. Are you in Canada now doing wishful drinking? Yes, I am. What's the? Uh, is there any difference at all in a, in a, in a New York or American audience, and, and uh, or uh, versus the Canadian yes, they, audience you're they, performing now? They're more kind of quiet, uh, thoughtful here, but they ask really weird question about Greg's death. Like, did I put more makeup on when the paramedics for when the paramedics arrived, and was Greg overweight? And they're very trippy kind of up here. When you first uh, saw how the, the production came out for HBO, uh, what what was your reaction to um, to the, the glossed up version that, that made it to TV? I just don't like looking at myself fat, but they did a great job. Sheila Evans is fantastic, and I love her. One last question. I, I certainly didn't want to let you leave and, and know you're always going to get a Star Wars question, but mine was a little bit different take. When you come back to work on Empire Strikes Back, uh, after Star Wars is a mega hit and and you haven't seen each other in a little while, the cast and crew, what's that experience like coming back with, with now you've got high expectations? No, you know what it was like? We knew the movie was going to be a hit. I did. Maybe if that was just, you know, naivete at my age, but it was just this amazing, amazing feeling of knowing you're gonna you're making a movie that everyone's going to love, and that never happened. Did you feel like it would still be successful yeah. and, and talked about I and watched was, all these many years later? Totally. No, not like that. No, but I knew the second one was as good as the first. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I'm glad you're going to the Emmys this year. I'm glad that the show is nominated, and we wish you great luck with that. Well, thank you very much. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. You too. Bye.